Okay, so what we're going to do now is camshaft tower onto the heads. So I've already had the camshaft towers cleaned, they've been ultrasonically clean, they've been vapor blasted, they've been double checked to make sure there's no media in there. I also removed the oil splash tubes before they get cleaned. So these tubes, not sure if you can see it in the video, but these tubes here are the ones that deliver the oil to your valve springs and the rocker arms and also they distribute oil through to the camshaft journals so they've been pulled out they've been blown through cleaned replaced with new plugs and yeah so everything's been completely degreased I've also made sure I've spent ages degreasing the tops of the heads here so we want to make sure there's absolutely no grease there whatsoever so that when we apply our sealant it can do its job Sealant's hiding up in here, we better get that out. Okay, so first thing is we're going to put the O-rings on the oil return tubes. Now these have been cleaned by me. I mean they're brand new, but I always clean them out to make sure there's absolutely nothing in them. And then obviously there's a little bit of stuff left in them from when they're manufactured. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lube up our O-rings and put them on the oil return tubes. I've only got one glove on because I'm trying to be cool. Apparently that was a thing back in the 80s. Now my hands are clean, but I just want to have, want to have a good feel for what I'm doing here, that's all. So lube it up. The Molly Coat Triple One Compound is actually quite viscous. It's very thick. So I want to make sure there's plenty on there. We'll get our O-ring, we'll smother the O-ring as well. Alright, and the reason why we use this is because it conditions the silicon ring. Prolongs its life and also allows it to slip into place. Well, that's interesting, this tube's not... oh, there we go. thought it was deformed, wasn't quite. Then on there. Okay, as you can see, that makes it nice and easy, and that way it makes sure that 100% you do not nick the O-ring on the inside or the outside, of course. Um, if you do, you will most likely have a leak between the tube and either the case or the camshaft tower, wherever it's going into. So the O-ring seal on the inside diameter and the outside diameter, so that's why you have to make sure you do not nick it at all. Well, that's one done. Let's get the other one. Okay. Right. See you later. Make sure that our tube has a nice amount of lube on the O-ring. So what I'm going to do is I might just clean the gloved hand and we'll just wipe the oil off the tube itself just from handling it. Doesn't do any harm, just like to be neat. So in addition to that, we'll go to the case. I've had these covered up since the beginning and we'll clean the inside of where these oil tubes are going to go just to make sure there's no anything in there that's clean throw that out 
Right, so now I'm also going to put a little bit of this grease because again I want to make sure that it slides in without any excess drag okay that's all good now we'll get our oil turn shoes, we'll just pop them in and they'll just sit there great so they've just popped in, so they'll just sit there until we fit the camshaft tower so as I said before the camshaft tower has already been degreased, I'm just going to clean my fingers a bit here But now it's time to fit uh, to apply our sealant. So we're using Loctite 574, which is anaerobic, which is which means it basically it sets when there's an absence of oxygen. So the good thing about this sealant is it gives you plenty of time to work. Um, so you've got about 30 or 40 minutes by the time you put the two parts together. Like you can apply the seal onto the surface and you can just leave it there, it'll be fine. But let's double check now, that's just a mark. So I guess as I was saying, this has all been completely degreased, cleaned, etc. I'm now going to apply my 574. And if you're lucky, I'll probably speed this up. <laughs> so I'm just double checking to make sure that I've got a good amount of sealant everywhere around the perimeter so it's quite thick and yeah look I know it's probably a little bit too much um, but it will squeeze out the amount of sealant that squeezes out on the outside of the engine I will wipe up with a cotton bud later on the amount that squeezes out on the inside isn't an issue because it will actually um, get washed away with oil when the motor runs um, and it won't cause any harm and it will be out in the first flush so again I'm just double checking uh, I don't want to see any dry spots anywhere this part here isn't necessary to cope but you know that'll just um, help adhere it to the heads I guess but yeah it's, um, this looks pretty good I'm expecting to see some decent squeeze out in pretty much all the areas. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is to put a little bit of the molly coat compound just on the insides here where the o-rings are going to go for the camshaft towers. That will just help those to slide in and seat. Okay, 
Now I might need a bit of persuasion. Get that ready to go. Okay. So again, there's the camshaft tower. Just making sure I've got good coverage everywhere, which I do. Close it all up. So we'll position this gently over the studs, and as we lower it, we'll just hold this. We've got to try and guide these oil return tubes into their little spots as well. Okay. So. So we've just gone over the O-rings, that's good I think. Yep, they're in, I can slide those up and down, so they're in. Now it's just a matter of tapping it down. Okay, so... So the camshaft house tapped down. I'm just going to cut up some clean cloth and stick it in the tubes. Is that in? Yeah, look at that, nice. Because the next part is sticking the, oh sorry, not sticking. The next part is putting the hardware on to secure the camshaft tower to the heads. So, what we're going to do, I've got all my gear here. So I'm going to install the spring washers first. So these are all, I've counted them all out. I'm actually reusing the, the original hardware, but it's had a clean. There you go, no leftovers, what a shame. Um, now, to fit the, the nuts, what you'll notice is 18 nuts, 15 regulars and there's three barrel nuts. The barrel nuts are there because they're located in a part of the camshaft tower that's actually quite restrictive in space. So what I'm gonna do is just get some oil. Let's fit the barrel nuts first, get them out of the way. Don't need too much oil, just enough to lubricate them so that we can get accurate torque readings on the threads. So, I'm going to do the nuts one by one. Okay. So all the hardware's been fitted, there's nothing left on my table. Put this oil up. I'm just gonna just give them a quick whiz by hand, just to take up the slack.
Okay, so the torque spec for these is 18 and a half pound feet, or basically 25 newton meters. Oops. And of course we use a bit of a crisscross pattern working from the inside out. So Just getting this ready for the inevitable. Oops. Don't you love it when that happens? Ah. Well, that torque wrench is giving me the heebie jeebies. If you're wondering, that's actually a Warren and Brown torque wrench. Uh, so much for a precision tool, the battery connection keeps failing on me, but I'm going to go back to Old Faithful here. Let's just go back and start, check all the ones we started before. Yep. All right, let's just go and double check everything again. 18 and a half. Feels a little. Yep, she's good. Okay, so let's see how we're going with our squeeze out. So as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a nice. Yep, all good on the top. Let's have a look down on the bottom. Yep. Just looking. You won't be able to see it in the video, but I'm just checking for a decent amount of sealant, which is all there. Okay, so it's on the outside. Now let's check the inside. Yes. Yes, 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 
Yeah, I could probably save half my money by not using as much sealant, but just wanted to make sure it was right. Okay, now to fit a camshaft to make sure it rotates. Okay, so I've just uh, lubed up one of the, cam the right side camshaft, and as you can see, I hope you can see it's turning quite easily. Nice.